Okay, I am back in just a real quick video. Um, you may have seen I popped on the other day when Dakota and I were antique shopping yet again. I don't know how many times we've gone antique shopping while she was home on Christmas break. Um, but I, I, um, I have just a little small haul from the other day um, from the shop we were at. And uh, I'm just going to share that with you real quick. Just take a few minutes. Um, these are the train tickets actually that are from um, another antique haul video the one before this one the antique haul video before this one um i mentioned these were in my wallet and i forgot to get them out um but that's that is those from that shopping trip pretty cool aren't they um they are train tickets originals um i'm not sure how many is here six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve three, four. i don't know there's like 20 there um have those then, um, not, not super old. I mean, these are probably from the nineties, um, maybe the late eighties. I don't know. Um, these are just, uh, playing cards, deck of playing cards. They're a little bit yellowed on the edges. Um, but what caught my eye was the beautiful blue butterflies. I love butterflies. I love blue. And I thought these would be a lot of fun to alter these, um, for journaling cards, um, when doing, um, uh, journals with butterflies in them so i thought those were just too cute to pass up not real old stick those back in there these playing cards however were adorable with a little puppy on there these are miniatures um so this is another stan craft exclusive product stardust miniatures plastic coated playing cards I have no idea when they are from. Um, don't even know if all of them are in there. They were just super adorable and I couldn't pass them up. Look at the edges on them. I mean, these were well loved, definitely used, which to me just makes them even better. <laughs> and then they are perfectly grungy and pre-yellowed on the back. So, aren't those cute? Little tiny things. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but they were too cute to pass up. I don't know, you may end up seeing a few of them in my shop. I haven't decided yet. So they are tiny. Here, let me, let me measure them. They are two and a half inches tall uh by about an inch and three quarter little tiny cards okay sticking with the card theme i bought a rook card game this one drew my eye because it was from parker brothers um and it mentioned parker brothers salem massachusetts new york and chicago i like the salem massachusetts part but the bird on it is i don't know he's a little spooky kind of a little spooky looking he, he's he's definitely a little creepy um, so it goes along with the Salem, Massachusetts theme. This was the only card in the box that's like this. You know, it's like the title page or the title card for the deck of cards. Um, but it has the name and it has the bird. And then um, copyrights. The last copyright date is 1934. So we know they're definitely not any older than 1934. Um, and then selling agents, Salem, Massachusetts. Parker Brothers Incorporated selling agents, Salem, Massachusetts, USA. So I thought that card's kind of cool with the bird, the rook, uh, blackbird or raven or whatever you want to call it. And then the Salem, Massachusetts. I don't know. It was a vibe I was feeling at the time. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it now, but, um, <laughs> they wanted that card to be a seven. This is the seven now guys. Um, anyway, and that one, that one's a rook now. Okay. Cause they said so. <laughs> but I just liked them for the cover and they were old and pre-grungy pre-grungy pre-yellowed you know we always end up distressing everything with our inks and, and all that but I love how they're already pre-distressed so a bunch of those in there I have no idea what I'm going to do with them again um, I don't know if you're doing a Poe journal or something I think a, a couple of those in there would be kind of kind of neat just because of the bird that's on them all right so i have those and then 
this the box excited me when I saw it I thought maybe it would actually have stationery in it it doesn't have any of the um, Bo Peep stationery in it anymore no no patterned paper in there um, but it did have a ton of envelopes and um, papers in it and so that's why I ended up buying it I love including old envelopes in my journals like actual vintage envelopes in them so these came pre-yellowed pre-crinkly already distressed i love the yellowing on them and the there's some foxing on some of the edges um so they are perfectly grungy just as they are no need to coffee dye them i mean they look like they've been coffee dyed they're not they're just they're just yellowed over time so they were gummed, but they're not even stuck together, which I think is awesome. So they've been kept out of a lot of humidity. Um, so you can still, still open them up. Okay. So I'm not sure how many there's like, uh, there's about 20, about 22 there maybe of those little envelopes. And they're cute. They're perfect size for putting in a journal. And then the paper, again, no pattern paper included. Um, just just regular writing paper but again beautifully yellowed paper naturally yellowed you can see that in the creases there um, love the texture of it love the crinkle of it it's just a perfect perfect weight paper so just some nice true vintage paper to put in a junk journal that doesn't need to be coffee dyed and and um, distressed by my own hand. So those are already already distressed and ready to go. So no little Bo Peep papers in there, but treasure nonetheless. Okay, and the last thing, it's just a little something for me. Um these recipes reminded me, and I know I can find them in cookbooks everywhere. I mean, the antique stores are full of cookbooks and uh, recipe uh, things, but these, these kind of caught my eye because these looked like ones that came out of my, my grandma's um, recipe box. They're not, these are not extremely old. Um, just kind of nostalgic for me. And they look like recipes, <coughs> excuse me, that I might actually make. Um, so this is um, Pillsbury. So this would have been an, a, a freebie insert that they might have had in a cake mix box or, or another baking mix um, box. Um, and this one had golden apricot cake, individual spice cream rolls, butterscotch cream filling. Um, but if I ever decide to do a kind of a vintage or retro kitchen or cooking theme journal, um, then these would be perfect in there. This is one that's plantation fruit bars. I don't know if it'll make those, but there's oatmeal drop cookies. And then there's this recipe here I wanted to try, herb herb bread. And then we have corn sticks, custard pie filling, and egg sponge cake, a four egg sponge cake. So anyway, that one is a from gold metal flour. So it, it probably came with flour. Um, and one of these, one of these I know had a date on it. Was it this one? Um, no, it wasn't that one. I like that there's directions here. Pack cookies this way to mail. So if this piece of paper is the same age as one of the other ones in here then they might have been mailing cookies maybe they were mailing cookies to soldiers I don't know because there's another one in here um I'm trying to find it I thought I thought it was very interesting I'll come to it in a minute um okay so this one's Pillsbury another little recipe card and Let's see, this is another Pillsbury one, Daytona pie. Mary Ellis Ames um, Biscuit Method. I haven't looked her up 
you guys probably, um, maybe some of you know who she is, but I, evidently she was a, maybe a well-known cook or baker at the time. Mary Ellis Ames baking powder biscuit method, Mary Ellis Ames two cake, two egg cake method, her yeast bread and her dry yeast and her plain pastry. I don't know who Mary Ellis Ames was. I, I'm sure a quick Google search would pull that up. Maybe she was the Martha Stewart of the of that time period. I don't know. I need to look that up. But that was a little pamphlet of Mary Ellis Ames' different recipes that she, or her methods, I should say. This one really brought home memories for me. Um, the refrigerator rolls. I I haven't compared it to my grandma's recipe, but my grandma has a um, refrigerator rolls recipe that we use all the time, um, and they make great um rolls and you just keep the dough in the refrigerator until you're ready ready to use it um oh here this is the one that had the date this is the one that was the other reason i liked this one this was their thrift store thrift star offer discontinued pillsbury flower so pillsbury flower had these stars I guess they put on different products and I apparently you could um, turn those in for uh, or redeem them for I don't I don't know merchandise or something anyway it's saying that they're that's discontinued now and it says um, according to the term let's see outstanding according to the terms of our offer in cash at the rate of half a cent each or in war stamps as shown below until April 1st 1945 so Kind of cool, huh? So mid 1940s, that piece of paper is from. And uh, imagine if I go look at Grandma's refrigerator roll recipe, it's probably the same one. So, and then this one was just cute. Holiday hilarity uh, boost with gingies. And it's got a little gingerbread uh, man story on it. And then there's recipes. So how to make gingerbread boys. And gold medal flower, apple dumplings, and old time fruit cake. So, I don't know, maybe a a vintage or retro um, cooking or kitchen theme journal will be in the works. I don't know. This this here was kind of like a, a walk through Grandma's recipe box for me. So I don't know. I know it's silly, but kind of nostalgic for me. Okay, that's it. I didn't buy much. Oh, I did buy buy chairs to go with my antique table. Um, or my, it's mid-century table, it's not an antique table, um, that I have in my, bought for in my kitchen. And I did find a set of chairs to put with it, um, for half price. Um, got a great deal on them at the antique store. Um, got a surprise for Judy, but I can't show you that on camera. Um, maybe she'll put it out there after I go see her next week. Um, but, uh, I think that's about it. All right. Well, I just thought I'd pop on and say hi and show you my few things. And here it is 13 minutes later. So sorry I've ate up all your time. But I will see you next time. Um, I'm going to get back to working on that file folder project that I've started. Okay. See you guys. Bye.